My name is Patrick Wilson. I'm a typical 13 year old. I'm not perfect. I do everything a typical 13 year old would do. Uh, I like to go to basketball games, dances at our school. Um, I like to do crazy things, no reason to do random things. Uh, as of right now, I have a household that consists of 12 people, two adults, and 10 children. Living in it is not very easy because a lot of the time it's a lot of trauma. Ten kids and I would do what they go have fun, go get along, but it don't go that way. Nine out of ten you come to my house, people be arguing, yelling at each other, somebody fighting, or people just not even home. My house, if I could like I'll, if I could choose anywhere in the world to be I wouldn't want to be there because I, my grandma treat me like I'm supposed to be the role model for everyone. She expects me to do everything perfectly and then when I don't, it, she makes a big deal about it. But when I used to live in Holly Park, that was when all the fun was going on. We used, everybody in my family was like connected. We used to do everything together. We had two backyards. One side of the football field, one side of the basketball court. So we used to play all sorts of games, have our friends over, and it used to be fun. So when I came home, we had an eviction notice on our door, and my grandmother was crying because we had nowhere to go. So we had our friends, the Lambert, and they had a friend who sold houses. So he gave us. Let her live, let my mama rent my house. So we moved to Church Hill, we settled there. Like, we was just, just new, took a month to get registered in school. I didn't have no friends. And we were shy. Like, and it was just terrible for me. But as time progressed, I started getting friends and everything. And I started acting my normal way. Now my normal way was yelling, screaming, running, hopping, jumping, just an act of free. I couldn't stay there. So we got, I got home one day, and this white guy and this black guy came to our door. Mervyn Stevens trying to tell us about chat, church and activity too or something. And I was sitting there like, is this guy stupid? He actually think I'm gonna do this? So me and my cousin just laughing at him and just teasing him, just and look at his head, all that and stuff like that. So then my mama decided it would be a good experience for us, so she signed us up. My first day there, I really like didn't want want to make friends. I didn't care. I didn't was it wasn't open. Like, I was very disrespectful, disobedient, everything. But then, then I kept going, and time got, well, it got a little easier. Because then I started getting involved in these groups, like Cummins Academy, East End and stuff, and I started getting a lot of friends. So I started feeling comfortable at check. But I still had behavior problems. So a few guys like Murray, Chris, and Adam, and Mackenzie, and them, they started having one on one time with me and like basically became my everyday mentor. So while they helped endure, like, helped me mature, I should say, I learned how to open up. I became more obedient, more respectful. I listened before I speak. I was just trying to do my best because I didn't want to let them down. So I went to chat for I think about a year and a half when Murray came up to me and asked me do I want to be a studio. He told me what it was and I thought it would be a big responsibility and I couldn't handle it. But I accepted the job anyway. So I got accepted with a few of my cousins 
and a bunch of older kids. I was the youngest out of the group. Everyone else was like in high school, and so I really didn't connect with everybody, and I was shy, and things like that. But as time went on, I started connecting with them. We just became like friends. And then, like, since I was friends with them, they made me feel like I had a sense of maturity. So, I, I became a street leader. Every Monday and Tuesday, I would go to chat. I would, I would um, help clean up at the house, do bus routes, pick up kids. And when I got back from doing what I had to do, I played in the backyard with them, with most of my friends. That's when I had time to just really, that's when I really got to know everybody because I was really active. Everybody started knowing me, I started knowing them. So after we had played basketball, whatever we was playing, we went and had a snack, and I sat down with my friends. We was talking, having a good time. Then we went to the basement, and we had a first of the day, and then admin them. They gave us a chat. So my first day having a child, I was a little nervous. I would think, what if you know more than me? What if I don't do something right? And I would just be, like, I was kind of restless because I had all these words on my mind. But I sat down with, her, with the kid and I tutored him. And it was a great experience because I got to bond with him. I helped him increase his knowledge. And then at the end, I. I had a friend. So, as I did that, I did also did a summer job for Jack where Mackenzie, Jerry, and I built picnic tables and bookshelves. Now, it wasn't easy. We had to come overcome a lot of problems because I never did anything like what we did. We had to do we had to pick up wood, which was heavy for me because I never worked out. And it was just a lot of hard labor. And a lot of times, me and Jerry complained. But in the end, it was a very fun experience. I learned something, and I had more friends. So it was a great experience for me. So as of now, I'm still in, I'm still in chat. I'm still in, in chat. I'm still screwed and I'm still having a good time. So this is just what chat did for me. Party, you. That was awesome, man. Yeah, throw me. I have legs, so I gave my legs to walk. See, I got myself up. That was so awesome, Patrick. Good job, Patrick. Thank you so much for dialing up there and sharing your story.